Hey there, Cosmo. Hey, how are you? Pretty good, but I'm kind of confused about this string theory. Don't worry. I'll tell you all about it. Traditionally, Einstein's relativity models how large objects and objects moving near the speed of light will act. Quantum mechanics predicts how very tiny objects will act. However, the theories do not agree when tiny particles moving near light speed are modeled. That sounds like a big problem. That's where string theory comes in. It has the potential to reconcile the two theories. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, whatever. So how does string theory work? Well, before, everyone thought particles like me were zero-dimensional points. String theory says I'm a one-dimensional string whose properties are determined by the way I vibrate. Oh, kind of like a guitar string vibrating differently for different notes. What's a guitar? Um, never mind. So that sounds pretty simple. Why is this theory such a problem? Unlike relativity and quantum mechanics, the equations of string theory are not well defined. Physicists must use perturbative methods to analyze the theory. P what a who? Perturbative methods find an estimate to a complex problem by starting with a simple model and slowly changing it. Since it is not exact, there are many different string theories. Weird. So which one is right? It's not that simple. They all seem to be related and can produce viable results. It's hard to test any predictions since strings are too small to be observed. I feel like my head is going to explode. I'm going to lay down. Oh, um, alright. Hey, tell your friends about me. I get lonely down here sometimes.